Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. I thought today I would do a, throw together a quick video showing you how I edit my bodyscapes for black and white. So, start off with this image I have here and I'll do my basic Lightroom adjustments and uh, go from there. So, this one probably adjust my exposure a little bit just to give it a little bit of boost, get a little more contrast, play with the highlights, see what I like bring the highlights up a little bit in this particular case. And shadows, I'll probably bring them down just to give it an even more depth to the, the photo. Whites, I'll probably bring those up a little bit. When I'm adjusting my whites, I'll usually hold down my the Alt key so I can make sure that I'm not nothing's peaking too badly. And I'll usually do it the same with the blacks just so I get an idea as to how dark my blacks are coming along. A little bit of clarity, yeah, saturation because I'm doing black and white, I'm actually just switch it there so saturation is not even available. And from there, my tone curl, I'm not going to touch that much because I'll do some work in Photoshop with that. And that's for the details. And I usually do around 55 for details with a radius of 1.2 and Masking, I usually do it bring my masking up to about anywhere between 60 and 80, just kind of depends on the, the look I'm going for. But I think in this case, probably around 65 is going to work. And for this particular um, edit that I'm doing, I think that's all I'm going to be doing here within Lightroom at this stage of the game. So now I'm open it up into Photoshop and do some editing in there. Okay, now that I've got the file in Photoshop, first thing I'll typically do is I'll take my uh, background layer, I'll duplicate it, I'll hide that one, and I'll just keep it just in case things go wrong and I need to adjust things. And I will rename my new background layer, I usually we'll just call it a working layer, and start with that. I would normally go through and look to see if there's any blemishes that I want to clean up using the hot spot healing brush. And there's nothing really major here that I'm too concerned about. I might clean up a couple little things like that and what have you, but I'm not really that concerned with anything that I see right now. Everything looks pretty decent, typical for what I like, but I might go in regardless. Again, depending on the photo may or may not clean a few things up like that. Anyways, once I'm done that, then I will go in and I'll create my dodge and burn layer. And everyone does these differently, but I do it using my making a curves adjustment layer. So I will take an area that's kind of bright like around here, and I will click on it, use my mouse, and I'll actually increase the brightness to around the level that I think will work well with the photo. In this case, I'm going to go with that. And hide that. I go in, click on here, and I will invert the layer mask so basically everything is hidden back there. Next I will rename this, I'll call it my burn layer. So I know what this one is for. And next I will create another curves adjustment layer. In this case, time I'm concentrating more on the dark area. So again, pick an area that I like and bring it down so they're about a level that I like. And I think that looks pretty good. It has a nice moody look to it. And again, control I, invert the layer mask hide that and I'll call this one my dodge layer. Once I have that all set up, I go in, I select my brush tool, and I'm gonna I usually start with my burn layer. And I will go in, I will make sure my opacity is set to about 40% and my flow about 15%. Select the brush size that I want for my bright areas and I just slowly start brushing over them just to bring a little bit more of that highlight out. And same here, I want to brighten the, this area up a little bit. 
just to add some depth to the photo. And same with over in this area here, brighten this up a little bit. Maybe even up in here a little bit as well too. And I will switch to my dodge layer. Same thing, I have to make sure that I'm painting in white so it'll come through. And slowly the areas I want to make darker. I just brush lightly over them. Adjust my brush size as needed. Darken these areas up just again, get the depth that I'm looking for. Any other small areas I want to sort of accent a little bit. Same thing, just brush everything in as, as I feel fit. Now, sometimes, depending on the photo, I might do the same thing. I might also dodge my background, but in this case it's pretty dark, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But um, that is typically my process for doing black and white um, editing of uh, bodyscapes. So I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.